We're called Chroma Quartet, and Chroma, we're all women, all women of color. And these girls are really amazing. They've almost become like my family. We uh, play anything from classical stuff to pop covers. We do a little bit of jazz, and we even have our own arrangement of Nina Simone's Four Women, which is very fitting for our group. It's just my passion. My true passion is music, so I'm so glad that I came back around to it, even after uh, several years. Music has been a positive outlet for me throughout my entire life. It's given me a way to express myself creatively. It's given me a way to connect to people. It's given me an opportunity to share something that I love. It's not work, it's just um, joy and just getting better at something that I love on a daily basis. Kind of started with the fact that my dad is actually a musician. I remember, I think I was three, we went to a music festival in Mississippi and we passed by a booth and I think they had stringed instruments. I remember seeing a guitar and a violin. I needed a violin, I needed to play violin. And it actually took them until I was 11 or 12 to finally get me a violin. When I finally got the violin, I was just drilling. Like, I was practicing six hours a day. I remember writing down like a little vision and, and on some paper and figuring out how I could make that happen. And I never met the right players. <laughs> and then, boom, all of a sudden, uh, I met Crystal Alforki. She approached me, so as soon as she did that, I was just like, perfect, a perfect match and a dream come true. It's coming together as a group how we got close. It wasn't like we had friendship, we had the friendship first. We actually came together as a quartet first and we just became, we became close. They're all so talented and all from different musical backgrounds. I think that's what's really interesting. I am from a family of musicians. My dad is a cellist, my mom plays violin. They're also both music teachers. And so I grew up with it all around me. I started playing at a very early age. It was either four or five, I don't really remember. My sisters are also musicians. Older sister plays violin, younger violin and viola. And so we grew up playing together. We had a trio called the Flamingo Trio, a very, very, very fantastic trio. One important aspect of um, my development as a musician is to find that, that family that we can gel and grow and know, real, know each other and, um, musically. And what Chroma really is, is a great highlight for me. I, I talk about it all the time. Oh gosh, I started playing viola when I was 13. Um, I started early, earlier with violin when I was six, but I switched to viola when I was 13 and my violin did not see the light of day. <laughs> it was just like I was meant to play it. <laughs> I feel really lucky. My parents are really open-minded when it comes to music and they're just really into the arts, really. I mean, I'm named after um, Nikki Giovanni, who's a um, black poet, but in my house, it was so eclectic. My dad, he's a Beatles fan. Also, both of my parents love Motown um, and soul, you know, because, because um, of the church, the churches that I went to as a kid, I was around gospel. That was my first live music. I had been playing around town and I had ideas of musicians that I wanted to work with. I remember I had an orchestra rehearsal and I knew, I was like, this, Nikki's gonna be at this, at this um, orchestra rehearsal. I've gotta, like, we've gotta, like, rush Nikki and, like, get her to be part of this, this group. We found our other violinist, and from there, it's just been fun times. So now currently, we've been doing like your regular gigs. We got to play on the AMAs with uh, Rihanna for um, her song Diamonds. Chroma stands for different shades of colors. and we wanted something that just re represented this colorful group that we have. <laughs>